party that focuses into the future by offering solutions to the problems of today and the emerging challenges of tomorrow. We seek to dispel the notion that parties are founded with a vision of getting power. The Alliance, ladies and gentlemen, is driven by a deep desire to fully implement our new constitution and the spirit of achieving our national development uh, agenda as laid down in our vision 2030. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we are asking you here present and every Kenyan who is watching us today to judge us on as we move forward. We seek, ladies and gentlemen, your approval to tackle the core areas which we believe are critical for our development as a country. The government cannot always solve the social problems inflicting its citizenry. But it is indeed the duty of the government to offer an enabling environment for its citizens to tackle their everyday problems. We seek to offer a unique approach to addressing recurrent problems that have stagnated development in the past. We promise, ladies and gentlemen, to address the hurdles that stand in our way to prosperity for all. We promise to fold our sleeves and get on the ground to get your feedback and to partner in getting sustainable solutions. There is no greater calling, ladies and gentlemen, than that which demands from each and every one of us service to the nation and service to all. We as a party, ladies and gentlemen, break away from the norm to give a party that is sensitive to your aspirations and in touch with your basic needs. When the farmer in our bread basket is able to fetch a good price for her beans and sugar because the government has eliminated unscrupulous middlemen and offered incentives and farm outputs and facilitated alternative markets for our produce, the spirit of our alliance will be alive. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when that young man leaves tertiary college or university and is inspired to start a small enterprise with dreams of growing it into a medium-sized enterprise, offering employment to his peers because the government is willing to offer an enabling environment to start up entrepreneurs, the spirit of our alliance will be there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when our senior citizens know that they can retire in peace, knowing that the government has safeguarded their pension investments through a proper revolving fund and a robust medical scheme that serves the needs of the people in a transparent and genuine manner. The National Alliance will be alive. When our children, their children, and their children's children are assured of a sustainable planet because the government has partnered with the willing to be able to reserve, reverse the negative impact of environmental degradation, thereby preserving the future. When our constitution is used to guarantee a world of unlimited possibilities, then our national alliance will have lived to its true promise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when our courts never shy away from doing justice, 
as justice has the capacity to proclaim itself from the mountaintops. We have every reason to raise our eyes into the hills and utter a prayer of thankfulness that our fundamental rights are protected under the judicial system of Kenya. We will know at that moment that the National Alliance is alive. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, every so often, our red, green, black, and white stripes are hosted high in the sky of foreign lands. An affirmation that Kenya is a country capable of competing and emerging the best on the world arena. Our sportsmen and women have marketed Grand Kenya in unprecedented ways, sometimes even without local recognition and appreciation. The National Alliance <laughs> recognizes the role played by our sporting activities in developing a healthy nation and the investment gains acquired when the victorious sportspersons return home with their spoils. This alliance, ladies and gentlemen, will accord all sports serious, the seriousness they deserve by creating a network that mushrooms from the grassroots to the national level. <laughs> Talent development in our country, not just in sports, but in all areas, will be the new frontiers from where the war on poverty will be waged. We cannot, ladies and gentlemen, sit back and wait for solutions that are imported from abroad. A nation that is highly dependent on foreign incentives can only grow so much. The National Alliance will lay emphasis on homegrown solutions to our problems, to the problems afflicting our nation and the African continent. We shall engage, ladies and gentlemen, with other leaders of the world to foster bilateral relations and negotiate economic opportunities that will be for the benefit of Kenya. Our sovereignty, ladies and gentlemen, is core to the beliefs of the National Alliance. And safeguarding it will be paramount if we are to gain the respect and influence we deserve as a nation. We cannot compromise that which God has given for temporary gains. Freedom is never given on a silver platter. It is fought for and earned by those who believe in justice and equality for all. Every year, ladies and gentlemen, we honor the men and women who love this country so much to have laid down their lives for it. We must task our government with the duty of safeguarding this freedom. A government that loves its people must indeed heed this call. Ours is a country of unlimited potential. A nation that has proven it can dust itself from the ashes of tribalism and immerse itself in the springs of nationhood and prosperity. <laughs> of this, ladies and gentlemen, I ask each and every one of you to believe.